Welcome to the KTAB Coach of the Week, sponsored by Abilene Teachers Federal Credit Union. Well, how do you handle a loss? What do you tell your players after they lose a game? I don't think it's as easy as you think it is, but that's something football coaches and other coaches have to deal with during their career. Do they jump up and down and scream? Do the coaches stay calm and try to get the players to keep their heads up? We asked the head coaches, football coaches at Abilene High, Cooper and Wiley, to find out how they handle the locker room talk after their losses. You know, the thing that I talk about is, you know, trusting the process. I always tell them, hey, you know, nothing's as good, nothing is bad. Somewhere in the, in the middle, reality lies. You know, I think it's it's a lot about having perspective. We've got to understand with maturity that uh, um, we play good opponents to expose what we got to get better at. Um, if you play folks that aren't, then, uh, you know, you may have a false sense of security. So. Um, that's, that's the first thing that I would probably that I tell that I've told my guys. If there's, I don't think there's anything you can say at that moment after after a loss, and you know everybody's all happy after a win, and so you know I think just uh, having great perspective and enjoying um, you know the outcome when you win, and and knowing that you got to go back to work when you lose. You know, always praise the the how appreciative I am of them and their effort, and uh, you know I'm never gonna. You know, if, if, any, if anything's going to fall back on, it's going to fall back on me, on a, on a loss. When we win, it's coaches and players. When it's loss, you know, I'm going to take the hit on that because uh, it's my responsibility to have them ready to play. And that's this week, Coach of the Week.